Hello and welcome! I am Grim, and this is Ark Survival Evolved. Okay, so today is moving day. I have managed to couple together a couple of things. Where are you? Like, uh, the platform. And I've managed to find a few other pieces lying around. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving a couple of things across, and we'll start work on the base over in the Redwoods. Okay, so I'll catch up with you in a little bit as I uh, go off screen to start transferring all the useless crap I have. <laughs> okay, see you in a second. And welcome back. So this is trip number one. But uh, as you can see, I've made a few little modifications to the base this morning. So I've got a handy little ramp up to the top so we can actually get to where I'm currently storing the birds. And a lovely set of double doors, courtesy of the S Plus mod. Okay, so we'll try and cram all this stuff in somewhere. Uh, just quickly transfer all of you, if I can. And we'll make another couple of runs. I guess once we've filled up all these boxes with useless things. I'll still get everything transferred over. Um, actually, can I... Maybe go save my bird? What's going on? It's a bat. So, I can't remember, I think bats possibly Jimmy's added to Redwood spawns. Or they just... I can't remember if it's been added just naturally into this Redwood actually. But I know Jimmy used to add a lot of things in. Which, uh, which shouldn't be in spawns. Come on, do you wanna... get somewhere where I can attack you? I think we're gonna have to increase a lot of health on Dozer. God, that was only a level 85. Uh, yeah, that's... that's Still pretty pitiful, your health there, Dozer, mate. So we're going to have to try and keep an eye on that. Uh, can we quickly heal you up a little bit? Okay, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that before I got distracted. So we've got the uh, S plus table there, so we can get that place down, and that's going to open up a bit more storage for the useless items that I have. Well, not useless, but the, uh, the hoarded items that I have gathered. Oh crap, basically. Okay, let me in here. You know, just for now, you can just go down somewhere. Yep, that is perfect. It doesn't really matter. Once we've got all our stuff in storage, we can start to play about with what we're doing, because this isn't going to be our final home, obviously. We have the platforms and pieces from here. Can I still... I can just barely still walk. Okay, so I'll get rid of this and we'll uh, make another trip. Okay, that's about everything of use that uh, I can take from you. So, this is trip number two. To be honest, I thought I'd maybe have to make three trips. But uh, you know what? Everything that's we're really leaving there, it's kind of junk, I guess. And there's only going to be a campfire and a couple of storage boxes. So eventually we'll come back once we've built more of a base and uh, some walls, I guess. And we'll try and transfer the dinos we currently have, or at least Khan, because, you know, he's a decent level. And I guess, uh, yeah, they, they can come too, I guess. Well, certainly, uh, I, I might rename her, because, you know, um, yeah. Why not? Okay, so I'll catch up in a little bit anyway. Okay, so trip number two complete. So we can start uh, decking out this place with a few essentials, which we've stolen from the other base. So, yeah, we'll get our smithy table in. And I guess we want to put down the furnace as well. Let's see what we'll put you 
over in this corner and we get a couple of you lined up in a row here actually. Is that clip through or anything? No, that's good, so that's fine. What else did we have? We had our preserving bin. So we'll throw you um I guess here for the moment. one thing it's hard to kind of see where it's going with the S plus if it is clipped in. You don't always see where it is. Uh, you know what I feel about there's okay. Yeah that's not too bad. you in and we'll just get a couple of bits thrown in there as well. So what else do I have for you? We've got a couple of you. So I'll put you down possibly replace the other ones. Uh, I did pick up a table actually from a drop on the way so I might get you and then put the uh, mortar and pestle on there. So table here we go. Hopefully that's enough space for you just there. That's about square enough to me. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll go ahead and put you on there as well. And that works for me. I'll go ahead and I'll just dump the narcotics in there. And I guess is just somewhere to store them at the moment. And you, I think we'll just drop the weapons, which are spares. And all this junk as well. Okay, so now we're getting a little bit organised, so I can carry on with the building here. I guess the next step is picking which redwood to put the platform on. Uh, did I transfer that into here already? I think I did. Yep, we'll take you. And we'll see what looks good. Okay, so first of all, which trees can we put them on? All of these ones. one there, then one there, they might be close enough to actually touch. That one can build an easy ramp to it. But you know, I think for starters I'm gonna try put one there, because obviously that's gonna be just over our entrance point as well, our little runway, to get to our dino pen. Which I will eventually try and wall all the way around once I've got the resources and time. Okay, so I'll go ahead with possibly uh, building a few more walls and things, and we'll see what happens from there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to see what buildings like on here. I'm going to be kind of mixing the S plus. And, uh, and the normal platform. So, as far as I remember, there was a midpoint somewhere. Well, actually, is that a beacon down there? I'll quickly run and grab that whilst we're here. Well, not whilst we're here, whilst it's here, I guess. Let's see what's in you. Anything. Not really, I'll just take the couple of building pieces, because they're always useful. And dump the rest. Okay, so we'll carry on with testing of the platform, I guess. Uh, 
so where are we? Uh, I guess we need you in somewhere. That's kind of the middle. I don't know what's going to work out best if that is. Or if we can kind of gauge where the middle is. Uh, It's about there. No way off. Uh, so many of that one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it needs to be another couple across. So we'll pick you up and we'll see if we can put another one down. just a little bit off on the placement. Where were you? You were about there, I think, weren't you? Is that going to... foundation with that okay so that almost works I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time and I'll see if we can get things lined up properly because in theory let me just test that I'll put another couple there and that one So I think in theory this will work. I just need to get the placements bang on and then what would happen is we'd bring those in and then we'd start on another section over there but that kind of seems off a little bit. back from the edge a little bit I think actually to to get the placement but I'll play about with this and I'll try and figure out what the best situation is going to be for building there. Let's see you in a bit. Okay folks welcome back. I think I've managed to roughly get this sorted. It might be the odd inch off here and there but you know what that's probably about as best as I can get it really. Although thinking about it, there was another way of possibly doing this which I might be able to quickly show you actually. Um, I don't know if it's going to give a better overall finish actually. But we can give it a try. The only problem is if it's not going to be the same angle as the other pieces around it, uh, I don't think it will be anyway. But uh, from the pieces we have to use, I don't know if it would work with the triangles. But we can possibly give it a quick try. So I thought about lining it up, and we'll try and get you flat against there. Is that about flush? I think it is, so uh, if we line up the foundation so that the leading edge is in the middle of everything. Okay, so you see on the left hand side as we look at it, it's in the middle. The right hand side is not so... Uh, Bit middle there. No. So 
fraction that way, fraction forward. So I reckon that's about as close as we can make it. So I think using that you could obviously try and branch those off there. As I said, I don't know what the angles are going to be like actually if we use... Can we use a foundation to... We might not be able to do it that way, hey, well... Let's uh, we'll quickly go get some water. I think possibly the first way I've done it is going to be the way we're going to have to do it, um, which is push like one square to try and find a centre, which is what I did with that first one. I've kind of lined it up as best I could flat with the edge and pushed it as far back as we could. I said this way it might work if it's going to let me attach it to the foundation. Um, snap another foundation into it. You see, because it's almost lining up, but not quite again. It's it's a difficult one to get, um, so I think I'm just going to go with the way that I've got it set up originally. And we'll just pick up these foundations and quickly rebuild the base as it was. I mean, if you've got uh, any other ideas out there for the best way to do this, let me know, but... I think this is probably the best way that I've found so far. And going from what I know with how these blocks are, are lining up, I should be able to create a base that all works. It might not match up with the edges entirely, but as long as we get the, the rough structure right, I think that's going to work out okay for us. So how are we going to do this all? Build these in here, I think, isn't it? And then you should just be squares onto there. So we'll just continue with this as best we can until we run out of resources, which is going to be pretty quick, actually. And I'll see if I can at least get the foundation mostly made today. Uh, I'll, I'll mix backs and forwards in between that, I guess. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Okay, we found a pretty crap bear, but he's close by, so... You know, why not? I think it's uh, level 20, I think. So it might be doable with what I have on me. Don't run. Let's see if we can track you down a little bit. Because if he's running, he's not got much left in him. Or he has more than I first thought. Okay. Nope, you're running. Hopefully go down. Do you want to... Go down. Come on, I don't have... Ah, there we go. So, yep, as you can see, level 20, nothing special. Oh, hey there, buddy. Do you want to give me something? So, I think on the boards you can take anything, can't you? and get some berries as well. So hopefully you shouldn't take too long as well. Come on mate. Yeah, not a lot there. 
So we're just gonna chuck everything in you and you can decide what you want to eat. I'll come back once you're done. God damn it. Step away for a second. So I quickly went to to harvest tree and then turned around. And there's two dillos attacking the bear, so the effectiveness is now one level. Yeah, there wasn't really much point to that. We're gonna rescue this stuff from you though, just why not? And I guess we got uh, some help for us. Ooh, that's quite a bit of help. Uh, we have to start working on a bit of fur armor now. Seeing as the bear was a pointless exercise. <laughs> Okay folks, well I think that's about all the time I have for today. I might carry on doing a little bit of building off camera. But for the moment the uh, tree house is starting to take shape. Now I've put this down just uh, so I can see the sort of distances I've got to play with. But of course this may all change as things tend to do. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And remember to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to go check out Meta's channel as well. Okay, well, thanks now. Bye-bye.